Okay, and we're rolling. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an incredible day as always. In today's video, I would like to discuss a very important topic that I believe is especially relevant in today's time. And that is the ability to control your emotions, to have control over your mind, filter what information you let in and ultimately protect your peace. So how can one protect their peace? I'm going to offer some suggestions, some of my thoughts and things that I often keep at the front of my mind when, you know, encountering negativity, whether it be in real life or online. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing to remember is to filter what you consume, to filter what kind of information you let in and especially what you internalize and what you believe. These days, we are constantly being bombarded with negativity and messages designed to keep us imprisoned in fear, in anger, in division, because when people are fearful, they are easy to control. People who are okay with constantly listening to the exact same messages on repeat really take for granted their time. They take for granted their youth and their precious energy, which is not infinite. All of the energy that you are using to consume these things meant to keep you down and meant to divide us as humans. You could be using on something productive like self-improvement, like actually learning from other people, like gaining real life experience instead of letting somebody else control your mind and influence you brainwash you into believing things that honestly are not true. The next point might not be for everyone, but there are plenty of variations that you can take for this to benefit you is to have some kind of spiritual practice, something to ground you, whether it be prayer or meditation or journaling, incredibly beneficial, or even exercise, you know, the um, almost hypnotic motion of for example, biking or running or rowing for like 40 minutes, you know, these kinds of activities help you to connect your brain and your mind and they allow you to be more in touch with yourself. The closer you are to your spirit, the better you know yourself, the more you can rely on your intuition, the less prone you will be to being gaslit by narratives and external influences. And if you are in touch with your intuition, you will then be able to pick your battles. When it comes to attacks from other people, it's very important to know how to pick your battles, to apply discernment and understand that not all people, not all situations require your attention or energy or even time. I haven't done a lot of reading on the topic of bullying, but I've witnessed it a lot in my life. And I believe it's a very clear indicator that somebody is most definitely spiritually out of touch, but also to some extent underdeveloped on a human level. Because if you choose to go about your life bringing other people down, you are literally undermining us as humans. You are literally bringing us down. And unfortunately, in today's internet age, there are so many people who do this and they do it knowingly or maybe even unknowingly, they bring down whole groups of people with absolutely zero care for the damage that they are doing. It is all for selfish gain, selfish profit. And that is why it is again so important to filter what kind of information you are consuming. But going back to the topic of picking your battles, there is most definitely a time and a place to, for lack of a better word, um, show your teeth, you know. Sometimes, as tempting as it might be to show your teeth in that moment, sometimes no reaction is the best reaction or no response is the best response. You know, you have to be tactical. You have to consider the entire context, the situation. Is it going to potentially harm me if I respond right now? Could it taint my reputation? Would it actually be respectable for me to keep my cool in this moment? And in times of adversity, your first reaction should always be to keep your cool and 
be able to soberly evaluate the situation. But with that being said, as I mentioned a little bit already, it is necessary to know how to set boundaries and to show your teeth when you need to show your teeth. Because if you go about life with no backbone, if you go about life being a yes man and smiling at everybody who shows you disrespect, people will use you as a doormat. People will take advantage of you. And it's going to be a very difficult life to live. You are going to end up in unfulfilling work environments, unfulfilling relationships, crappy fake friendships. If you truly want to have control and control in your life and truly carry yourself with dignity and self-respect in this life, you cannot fear confrontation. Confrontation is a healthy part of life and having a healthy relationship with confrontation is going to help you to be successful both in setting personal boundaries as well as just maintaining your respect for yourself so don't be afraid to burn bridges don't be afraid to burn bridges don't be afraid to say things that need to be said it doesn't have to be a violent confrontation it doesn't have to be a yelling match it is enough to just calmly tell somebody that you will not accept this behavior you know or you can even play it off with with humor just by asking them what did you mean by that you know like it does not have to be a crazy outburst but they have got to know they have got to know that you have a backbone and that you are not afraid to stand up for yourself and furthermore I think that it's better to be alone than to be surrounded by people who don't respect you and who use you as a punching bag for their own gain. And finally, to leave things off on a positive note, I encourage you to always choose happiness. No matter what life throws at you, don't allow yourself to internalize negativity. Don't allow yourself to buy into what people might say about you or what people might tell you. I think you should forgive people because holding grudges and being bitter is not productive and it's just going to reflect on your face. It's going to reflect on your relationships with other people. But you're free to forgive, but don't forget, you know, don't allow people back into your life that have disrespected you time and time again when you have made it very clear that you don't tolerate this behavior always reflect and take lessons away from situations so that you're better equipped next time to look out for patterns try not to step on the same rake over and over again i forget exactly how the saying goes but it's something along the lines of smart people learn from their mistakes but wise people learn from the mistakes of others so i encourage you to listen to other people and Look out for patterns that maybe they have warned you against. Don't go about your life, you know, being suspicious about everyone and hating everybody, but definitely be observative. Watch people's actions, watch how they treat others, and don't be so quick to trust. Not everyone deserves a place super close to your heart. I don't know who needed to hear today's message, but hopefully you got something positive out of it. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like consider subscribing and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.